Hello ladies and gentlemen, and you're watching Paleo 101, where we're talking about fossils, minerals, and everything recorded in the Earth's rocks. Well, today we're going to be talking about two ideas that were very controversial during the modern development of geology. And, that, and those two ideas are Neptunism and Plutonism. These were two controversial ideas that pretty much kick-started how we understand the origin of rocks, and which rocks came first in the origin of our planet. Well, Neptunism explains that all rocks were formed by during the early oceans of, of, of the Earth. And this uh, idea was proposed by Abraham Gottlob Werner. And he proposed that all rocks were formed, uh, that, inclu that included basalt and that included granite, were all formed by um, early oceans. And then there was the other idea, Plutonism, that was created by Antonin uh, Lazaro Moro. Moro. Um, this was a uh, geologist. Neptunism was... Um, formed by a German geologist, Abraham Gottlob Werner, and Plutonism was created by Anton Lazaro Morrow, who was another geologist, and basically understood and basically explained that all rocks were actually formed by the cooling of magma deep below the Earth's crust, and not formed by the early oceans that existed uh, billions of years ago, or millions of years ago, as they once claimed. And these were two controversial, two controversial ideas. But what evidence led them to these, uh, to these ideas? What evidence favored in, in what idea? And which was one of the most leading um, ideas that actually turned be, uh, that we actually know as Vulcanism or Plutonism today? And the right answer would be Plutonism. All rocks did start off as being molten. But Abraham got a lot Werner proposed that Neptunism caused all the rocks um, as the uh, precipitation of early oceans. And so he thought that basalt, this particular rock called basalt, was actually just a sedimentary rock. But John Playfair, who was a mathematician and also a geologist, noticed that basalt didn't have any fossils in them. If you were going to find sedimentary rocks, shouldn't sedimentary rocks contain fossils? And why doesn't basalt or granite not have fossils in them at all? But things like limestones and sandstones, like this limestone here, which actually you can see it has a brachiopod, and this sandstone, that is made up of just sand particles that have been compressed together. Why do these rocks have fossils, but granite and basalt do not have fossils? And you can also see in granite, it has these interlocking crystals, such as the feldspar, the red feldspar, the black biotite, and the gray quartz. These uh, minerals were all formed by the cooling, or by the slow cooling, of magma deep below the Earth's crust. So many geologists saw that. But Abraham thought that, well, wait, wait a minute, all of these rocks were formed in a shallow marine environment or all um, or in early oceans during a particular time in Earth's history. But we don't find fossils in granite and or basalt. So these rocks had to have been volcanic. These rocks had to have been cooling by a, uh, a, a blob or a, a lava or magma system during Earth's history. So many geologists back then knew that some of these, that this, that this was a very controversial, these were two very controversial topics during the modern development of geology. And granite pissed everybody off, um, people who were of, in favor of Neptunism. Um, these people all thought that rocks were all formed by the, um, by the early oceans during Earth's history. But Plutonist, Plutonism, which included James Hutton, who would, who would actually be considered the founder of modern geology, proposed that rocks like granite and basalt had a volcanic or had a magma or lava origin to them. They also noticed that they had basaltic dikes, um, basaltic intrusions, which are basically intrusions of basaltic or granitic rock um, that were inside of uh, sandstone or limestones. And they noticed that these rocks had to have started off as molten. And, and during back in the, and this has all happened in the 18th century during the foundations or during the early development of geology itself. And so many, and so many geologists thought that, well, wait a minute, the rocks during the, this time were all formed in early oceans, and wait a minute, there were rocks that formed in uh, volcanic in origin by the cooling of magma or lava deep below or on the Earth's surface. And so Neptunism was right. Um, this was also later called, to be called the volcanism, but rocks, all the origin of rocks did consider to be um, rocks that did form in a, um, in a molten-like state, that did form in a molten environment. And James Hutton and John Playfair um, and Antonin Lazaro Morrow did understand that all rocks during the uh, development of the Earth's crust, had to have started off as molten and, and these crystals and uh, what they saw in the rock record did notice, uh, especially the lack of fossils in some of these rocks like granite and basalt. This was the leading factor that actually was the evidence that showed 
that rocks did, or the origin of rocks did start off as being molten magma, deep low, or on the Earth's crust. So Plutonism had it right after all.